News 8's Rebecca Lopez has been digging into the story. She joins us now with more. Rebecca? Well, this incident involves some of the highest ranking members of the Dallas Police Department. In fact, one of the highest ranking members. And there are some who believe that this incident isn't being investigated thoroughly and they are demanding action. Goals of nuisance abatement. Assistant Chief Christina Smith is one of the highest ranking women at the Dallas Police Department. On Saturday night, she was the duty commander in charge of the entire department, but as allowed, she was at home on call. That same night, neighbors called 911 after saying that Smith and her boyfriend were involved in a domestic dispute. My wife uh, heard um, some commotion in the street and she just yelled out, are you okay? Do you need help? According to police records obtained by News 8, witnesses saw a man and a woman tussling with each other. The neighbor who asked we not identify him says Smith's boyfriend, Matthew Hess, attacked him when they tried to intervene. He says Hess bit him. The neighbor says Chief Smith was angry they called 911. She told me uh, if we just mind our own business, this wouldn't be happening. Here's where the situation takes a turn. The neighbor says Smith called the communications division to cancel the call to her house. I think it's her uh, using her power in her behalf uh, when in, in reality what I think look at it is she should have been calling 911 and using her power to come and help us. When police did finally arrive he was arrested for assaulting the neighbor and public intoxication. Three of the associations are wanting an internal affairs and criminal investigations into this incident. I just spoke with Assistant Chief Smith, though, and she tells me that there was never been a domestic violence incident between she and her boyfriend and that the argument was between the neighbor, her boyfriend and neighbors in front of her neighbor's yard. She also says she never called communications or anyone to intervene in a 911 call, something she says can be verified through phone records and recordings. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. All right.